Is the universe predetermined? Has the future already happened? Is it possible that the past, present and the future is already encoded in the cosmic blueprint? What if our traditional concepts of time are not as rigid as we think? Picture yourself looking up at the night sky, a vast canvas sprinkled with innumerable stars. Each luminous point is a moment from the past, captured in the cosmos from billions of years ago. But imagine if we could shatter the boundaries of time to not only reflect on the past, but also to catch glimpses of what is yet to occur. While this notion may sound like it belongs in the realm of science fiction, the revolutionary ideas put forth by Albert Einstein suggest that time is not the linear, unvarying stream we experience in our daily lives. Einstein's theory of relativity suggests that there is no fundamental difference between the past, present and future. This mind-bending concept is tied to the block universe theory, which views space-time as a giant, unchanging four-dimensional block. From this perspective, all moments in time, past, present and future, exist simultaneously. But how can this be reconciled with our everyday experiences? Doesn't it upend our understanding of now? So over the course of many centuries, we humans have gotten pretty good at learning how to measure time. We have developed all sorts of clocks that through the ages have gotten better and better and better at measuring the time interval between one event and another with absolutely astounding accuracy. Now, having said that, we have still struggled for ages to really understand what time itself actually is. We don't yet have an answer to that question, but we do have certain basic understanding of the properties of time. For instance, we all agree that clocks that are properly functioning and properly set, all of those clocks will tick off time at the same rate, so they will all be in sync with one another. They will all agree with one another. We also generally agree that Individuals that are measuring the duration of an event with properly functioning clocks will get the same answer. We all agree on how long it takes for something to happen. And we all agree, generally speaking, on what things happen at the same moment, right? Those are the basic features of time as we experience time in everyday life. Here is the thing. The constant nature of light speed says that all of that is wrong. It tells us that properly functioning, properly set clocks do not generally agree with one another. It tells us that we generally do not all agree on what happens at the same moment in time, and we generally will not all agree on how long it takes for something to happen. Consider a simple example to understand how perceptions of now can be subjective. Imagine you and a friend are watching a live football game on delayed broadcasts. Your broadcast is a minute behind your friends. Even though a crucial goal has already been scored, you'll perceive this event happening at different present moments. Now let's scale this up to a cosmic level. Imagine you're walking down the street and pass by your friend going the opposite way. At that very moment, far out in the Andromeda galaxy, an advanced alien civilization might be deciding whether to launch an invasion fleet towards Earth. Here's where things get mind-bending, thanks to what Roger Penrose pointed out with the Andromeda Paradox. To one of you, the aliens might not even have decided yet whether to launch their fleet, but to the other, the fleet could already be on its way. Sounds impossible, right? How can there be such a contradiction in something that seems like it should be a matter of fact? Fortunately, this scenario remains a thought experiment, and if such hypothetical aliens exist, we would hope they are not hostile. This speculative consideration leads us back to the profound implications of relativity, highlighting that time isn't a universal constant that ticks away the same for everyone everywhere. Neither you or your friend see what is happening in Andromeda, because light from Andromeda and the hypothetical alien fleet will take 2.5 million years to reach Earth. 
The argument is not about what can be seen. It is purely about what events different observers consider to occur in the present moment. This realization naturally sways into a deeper philosophical quandary. If the future is predetermined, as suggested by the immutable laws of physics that govern our universe, how does this impact our understanding of free will? Are our actions merely playing out a script written from the dawn of time? Or do we possess the genuine choice to shape our destinies? The question of free will becomes even more perplexing when we consider seemingly simple choices. Imagine receiving two job offers at the same time. Choosing one might feel like a personal act of decision-making. However, a determinist would argue that this choice was inevitable. It was predetermined by all your prior experiences, your education, preferences, and countless other factors. From this viewpoint, your decision, and perhaps your entire life path, is merely an unfolding of a script written long ago by the laws of the universe. The age-old question of whether we have free will or live in a predetermined universe becomes even more puzzling when we consider Einstein's ideas and a concept called superdeterminism. This radical idea suggests that our choices may not be our own, and even our scientific experiments could be influenced by hidden forces. Superdeterminism proposes that the universe cleverly hides its true nature, making us believe we have free will when, in reality, everything might be pre-programmed. However, many physicists and philosophers oppose a strictly deterministic view. Quantum mechanics, with its inherent randomness, suggests events might not be entirely pre-programmed. Neuroscience provides hints that our brains might hold some degree of flexibility when making choices. Studies have shown that even when presented with seemingly identical situations, there's variability in how our neurons fire and how brain regions interact. This suggests that a level of unpredictability is built into the very biological mechanisms of decision-making. Does a predetermined future, or even a super-deterministic one, strip our lives of motivation and meaning? Or does understanding the potential limits of our own free will bring a sense of peace or cosmic understanding. You are the eventuality of an anomaly which, despite my sincerest efforts, I have been unable to eliminate from what is otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision. How does potentially knowing our fate change the way we approach life? These profound questions challenge our core beliefs about time, existence, and the very nature of our actions. While these concepts and questions might seem overwhelming, they offer a tantalizing glimpse into the mysteries of the universe. We might not have definitive answers, but that in itself is an invitation for further exploration and open-minded discussion. The frontier research areas like loop quantum gravity investigate the possibility that time itself might be quantized. This means time wouldn't be perfectly smooth, but made up of tiny, indivisible chunks. This challenges the traditional block universe concept where time is viewed as a continuous flow. Furthermore, physicists continue to explore mind-bending concepts like entanglement and retrocausality. Entanglement suggests particles can be linked in ways that defy our usual understanding of time and space. Retrocausality hints that, in some limited way, the future might even influence the past. This research could drastically change how we understand the flow of time. These cutting-edge theories even raise questions about whether our familiar view of time as a fixed dimension is accurate, hinting at the possibility that time itself is an emergent property. This fascinating tension drives physicists to search for an even deeper understanding of reality. Einstein's ideas, concepts like superdeterminism, and the possibility that time itself is emergent force us to question our most basic assumptions about reality. The universe, it seems, is far more complex and awe-inspiring than we can easily grasp. This invites us to keep exploring, questioning, and embracing the profound wonder of the world we inhabit. Let this cosmic mystery be a constant source of inspiration. Since these ideas leave room for so many interpretations of time, what do you think? Do you lean towards a block universe, emergent time, or a different perspective altogether? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments.